miss the beginning? No. You know I can't miss the beginning of a show. Donkey. Some people think it's all right. You know, they show up like 10, 15 minutes late all the time. Donkey. Oh, not me. Uh-uh. I got to see it all. Even the previews. Especially the previews. Donkey. Look, it hasn't even started yet. Okay? Just sit down. Well, okay then. Donkey. You're sitting on my lap. Oh, sorry, Shrek. Our tale begins with an ending. Summoning the last of his strength, the dying King Harold, lovingly named Shrek as the heir to the throne of far, far away. You are the next heir to the throne. But the worried Shrek, thinking of the duties, the fame, and the discomforts that came with the throne, beseeched the king to pass the crown to someone more worthy. Come on, anybody, think! With his dying breath, the Frog King then bestowed upon Shrek a glimmer of hope. There is another. But Shrek, Donkey, and Puss in Boots would need to set sail to find Fiona's long-lost cousin, Arthur, and place him upon the throne. Fearlessly, then, Shrek raced towards the pirate-infested docks to begin his quest. Uh, or at least, he would have if he didn't have an important royal duty to perform first. Oh, come on now, Shrek. It can't be that bad. It's, no, it's not so bad, Shrek. It's, uh, slenderizing. You look like a royal... something. All right, that's enough. I'm not wearing this. My Lord Prince, it is time for the royal buffet. I'm not going. I'm afraid, my Lord, that you have no choice in this matter. Royal attendance, attack formation, Scepter 12, bravo! Sir! Please behave! No! Oh, Man, Shrek, you were amazing! I just love a royal rumble! Uh, I think Fiona's going to be angry. Oh, definitely. And don't forget about her mom. She's gonna be really angry. And the princesses, they get mad just getting dressed in the morning. Don't ask me how I know that. Donkey! Of course, there's Raoul. You know he gonna get all snippy about what you did to that wig. Don't they know I've got a boat to catch? Out of the way, let's go! I am looking forward to this voyage, boss, but I am concerned there appears to be a, how shall I say, an unfriendly presence in our way. I will scout ahead and secure your passage. You enjoy yourself. Well, well, well. So much for scouting ahead. You're like 20 feet from where you started. Out of the way, let's go! You are, uh, how shall I put this, uh, too rotund to fit into this itty-bitty doorway. Allow me. The gate's been breached! The gate's been breached! You mean he found the switch? All men, prepare to attack the ogre! Did he say, ogre? Look, Shrek, our crew is all ready to go. I'm gonna go get me a deck chair and one of those drinks with a little umbrella in it. We don't have a crew, Donkey. They're trying to steal our boat. What? Oh, they can kiss me. The ogre's coming, boys. Batten down the hatches and prepare for a boarding. An ogre! Man the bilges and prepare for me escape! Ha <laughs> ha! Behold! The mighty valor of Boos in Boots. To interrupt a cat's dinner is to invite disaster. Hunger! A magnificent fish. I am in heaven. Uh, we'll be taking our sail back now. 
Shiver and avast. You'll never take me ship. What is he talking about? I have no idea. You want to take him, or should I? Arr and avast! I surrender! That's a good boy. Take your sail, owner! But cursed be ye who takes back the likes of such finery. May an ill wind fill your sail. I still don't know what he's talking about. We've got things to do, puss. Let's go! I'll miss you, Shrek. Oh, I'll be back in no time. There's something I need to tell you. Well, can it wait till I get back? No, I... What was that? Uh, one more time. Shrek, I... What? Don't you get it, Shrek? You're gonna be a daddy! Santa Maria! With Shrek off on his quest, Charming craftily hatched a nefarious plan for revenge against Shrek, Princess Fiona, and a certain barmaid who inexplicably found him somewhat less than Charming. Yeah. Determined to seize the throne, Charming called together the robes of the kingdom and promised them everything they had ever desired. Yeah. Or... Um, and the happily ever afters we so richly deserve. Charming then dispatched the evil queen, Captain Hook, and Stromboli, and all their minions, to take over the kingdom of far, far away. It's showtime! <laughs> These ruins mark the edge of Worcestershire. Here, my friend, we are in dangerous, unexplored territory. Aye, I reckon the angry mob is here to tell us where to go. I shall be delighted to teach them some respect, one way or another. Stop, peasants! This is no ordinary ogre. Bow to Shrek! They can bow to Arthur later. Let's go! I will take my leave, boss, and meet you at Arthur's Academy. And I suppose you've got something better to do? Um, I have a lady friend nearby. Whew! You know, I almost didn't make it. You missed the gracious welcoming committee. Hey, Shrek, I got a question. Yes, donkey? Do you think this Arthur guy likes donkeys? I can't imagine he would. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, very funny, Shrek. Hey, you don't need any help, do you? Dude, she was so mad at me, just because I helped Cindy with her alchemy homework. Man, Shrek, do you smell that? Quiet, donkey. What do you suppose lives here? From hot to not. She's such a princess, dude. Why do they always have to be mad about something? I smell like that weed rat nest you had at your swamp last year. Woo! It's not weed rats, donkey. They're jocks. Now be quiet. A talking donkey? Those geeks at the Wizard Club just never learn, do they? Hit them hard, guys! Well, well, well. If it isn't Sir Shrek. And you are? A friend of a friend! <laughs> Tell the evil queen we found the ogre. I wonder what that was all about. Nice of you to run away when the evil witch is attacked. Are you kidding? I ran away when those jocks got angry. Hey, by the way, I'm starving. Do you think there's any food around here? I'm so hungry, even that hay is sounding good. Oh, well, if you're not feeling picky, I'll just clap my hands and hay will fall from the sky. Now quit whining, donkey, and let's find Arthur. Now what is that? This here is the finest ride in all of Worcestershire, sir. That is so five years ago. Is that hay? I'm starving here. 
It hit me! It just fell from the sky and hit me! Oh, my eyes twitching again. I think we're here. Is this the school? Why does it look like a hedge maze? Probably to keep out talking donkeys. Yeah, well, maybe I'll just wait outside. Have fun. Look, an ogre! How many power-ups is that? Get back here with that key! Uh, you are not high enough level to exit this maze. Shut up! I resist. Uh, Save versus unconsciousness. Oh, bummer! Doesn't anybody ever leave a gate open? Have no fear, boss. I shall scale the impenetrable fortress and clear the path. Okay. Hey, kid. Which one is Arte? Um, that tall one over there. But he prefers to go by his nickname, Peaches. Okay. If you've come to play, you're gonna pay. Oh, you made a funny. Now go play your silly game. Nerd! Boy, do I have a surprise for you. Oh, what's this? You'll never get the sword, Shrek. Yeah, you can have the sword. I just want the kid. Too bad. You're not getting either. Get him, girls! Hey, hey, Shrek, heads up! All right, Peaches. You're coming with me. What did you call me? Peaches. Come on, we've got a ship to catch. You said it again. And you'll have a whole kingdom calling you that if we ever get there. Now move it, Peaches! Unhand me. You've insulted Lancelot's honor for the final time. Lancelot? I thought you were Arthur. That's one insult too many. You shall face me on the field of battle. As Shrek and the others embarked upon his royal quest, Fiona returned to the castle. There, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, Cinderella, and Rapunzel did what all royal princesses do in times like these. Sip tea. Seriously? A tea party? It's what all royal princesses do in times like this. But Prince Charming and his goons had other plans in store for them. Far, far away is mine. Demanding to know the whereabouts of Shrek. You'll never find him. He did the next best thing. Question the puppet. Find the ogre. And toss the princesses into a dank cell. Gotta clean, gotta clean. With Shrek away, and Charming having seized the throne, the future of Far, Far Away looked bleak indeed. I'm not sure. I, I might get in trouble. How could I leave a pretty princess locked up? Of course I'll let you out. Gotta run. See ya. Princess is good on toast. Well, I've got my eye on you. Hey, fellows, I hear Prince Charming's show is going to be fantabulous, and Rapunzel is the lead. Oh, she's such a babe. Yes, I know, she's way hotter than sleeping. Oh, hey, you! I can't believe you'd say that, right in front of me. Good job, nice job, Barry, well done. Now she's gonna cry. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were here. You are so mean. I wasn't even thinking of you, I was thinking of... Cinderella! 
It's simple. You defeat Lancelot, I get an A in Siege Warfare, then I'll go with you back to far, far away. Yeah, I'll get right on that, because I really care about your final exam. You wouldn't want to bring back somebody who failed Siege Warfare, would you? Fine. What are the rules? Knock down his towers before time runs out. There! I won! Now let's go! But I still have to do my final exam. Puss, get a big burlap bag for the kid. No, wait! Seriously, I have to pass my final exam. Otherwise, I'll flunk out of school. It's easy. I just have to go into the mountains and get a quest from the Lady of the Lake. Oh yeah, sure thing. That sounds easy. Puss, get that bag! You think your wife wants a high school dropout to be the new king? A guy who's never completed his quest? Is that what the people of Far Far Away deserve? All right, fine, we'll go on your stupid quest. Let's get it over with. The map to the final exam led our brave adventurers high into the icy mountains as Arthur relentlessly pursued his quest. Are we there yet? I'm freezing. This was your great idea. Keep climbing. They traveled through many perils that would have stopped the faint of heart. You know, Shrek, if we just turn back now, we'd be... <laughs> There's no turning back. Until at last they reached the highest peak and climbed fearlessly up to meet the mysterious Lady of the Lake. Um, not even a little turning back? Are you sure we're going the right way? Of course I'm sure. I got an A in, uh, mapology. Look, a gnome! We better go around. I learned they're vicious predators. Very territorial. Oh, come on. These little guys, please. Well, I'm not going up there. I'm staying right here until I know it's safe. Hello, little guy. You seem friendly. Have you seen the Lady of the Lake? This is the way to the lake, but we'll need a key to open it. Quest keys are definitely part of my final exam. Let's see what's up here. Let's go! Well, here's the lake. Now what? We have to make a sacrifice to the Lady of the Lake. Something valuable. I've heard gold or jewelry works. Yeah? Uh, how about this? Hey, lady! Boy, does your lick look refreshing! Artie, get me a towel. I'm coming in to take a nice long bath. Welcome, Brave Arthur and Sir Shrek. Smooth enough. This is so lame. Deep in the mountains. I mean, way deep in the mountains, you'll find an ancient well. Throw a coin in the well, and your quest is done. Um, okay, but I'm kind of broke. Doesn't your friend have money? Money? Uh, uh, no. But I've got a weed rat on me somewhere. Oh my gosh, this is so pathetic. Lancelot didn't have this problem. This is so lame. Hang on. Come on, lady. We came all this way. Can you spare a coin for us? Oh, fine. You want a coin? Retrieve seven magical high heel shoes and I'll give you a coin. Good job. So that's it? That's my quest? Yep, you're done. Congratulations. You win. The quest is complete. Go you. But don't I get something? Like what? I don't know, a piece of paper, or a medal, or something. First, the quest isn't hard enough. Now you want a medal? Okay, fine. Come back up to the top. There's something for you in a cave behind the lake. This is so lame. 
All right, Donkey, listen to me. Arte is going to be on his way back soon. I want you to go into this cave and pretend to be a dragon. A what? Arte wanted to fight a dragon for his quest. What is the deal with everybody wanting to fight dragons? They're much more cuddly than they look, you know. Look, Donkey, it's simple. If Arte thinks he fought a dragon, he'll feel more heroic, like a king, not a kid. Then he'll actually want to come back with us. All right, fine. Great! Now put this costume on. Hey, look at that. There's already a dragon in here. Is that you, Shrek? Hey, where'd you get that cheap costume? Oh. Oh! Ah! Shrek? Hello? Help me, Artie! It's gonna eat me! Man, you were great! Swinging your sword, waving your shield, left, right, left, right, duck and weave, duck and weave! I love you, Artie, you're the man! Thanks. Hey, uh, why are you wearing a dragon costume? Having bravely completed his quest and won his diploma... You did good, lad. Arthur was eager to return with Shrek to far, far away. Okay, let's go. Meanwhile, deep in the catacombs beneath the royal castle, Sleeping Beauty searched frantically for her imprisoned friends. <coughs> As I was saying, Sleeping Beauty searched frantically... <coughs> Searched frantically. Searched frantically because her friends' very lives depended upon her. You don't have to be so rude. Oh, forget it. Fiona, can you hear me? Sleeping Beauty, you must be getting close. Hurry up. Fiona! Where's Rapunzel and the others? I heard Rapunzel's with Charming now. That tramp! And I heard them interrogating Gingy. We have to save him. Hey, why didn't you just eat your way out? No! Oh, that's revolting! I'm not a cannibal! Bells! Oh, am I glad to see you! They were gonna do horrible things to me! With chocolate! You're safe now. Have you seen Cinderella? Or Pinocchio? Stromboli took Pinocchio to the Evil Queen's castle! He's gonna use Pinocchio to create an army of evil wooden puppets! But where's Charming? Oh, you mean the king of the stupids? Well, he's back at the castle preparing for his big show! And then that's where we're going, right? I love her. But she'll only slow me down. Gingy, watch over her. When she wakes up, get her out of here. Ha! If those guards think a wooden door can stop me. Are we almost there yet? It feels like we've been walking forever. Hey, it wasn't my quest. Next time, ask the Lady of the Lake for a shorter one. Is that a piano? What a lucky day for you and me! You've traveled very far. Come looky at my scar. Please visit the pirates and the thugs. It's really no rebuke. In fact, it's just a flu. Well, that plan didn't work as well as I thought. That was a plan? Oh, don't rub it in. I spent more time on the song than the plan. Yeah, like that wasn't pathetically obvious. Now tell me where Fiona is. She's in the royal prison, guarded by witches and knights, and even worse, the Cyclops. Good thing you didn't say pirates. I was scared you were going to say pirates, and given how scary they were just now. You're rubbing it in again. Come on, Artie. Let's go.
Now safely on board ship, our daring adventurers began their serene voyage home, so that Arthur could at last be united with his loyal subjects. You'll be fine, except for the poisonings. What? And the famine. Huh? And the revolutionaries. Okay, that's it. I don't want to be king. Too bad. You're going. But cool fate had other plans in store. Oh, that's just great. And cast them on a lonely shore. Hello? Is anyone here? Artie? Donkey? Hey, old man! Yeah, you! Have you seen a talking donkey around? Or a whiny teenager? Oh my! An ogre! Stay back! Oh, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm looking for my friends. Ogres have friends? <sighs> Whether they want them or not. Have you seen them? Shrek! Artie! Where's everyone else? They're back at Merlin's. Merlin? The wizard? At your service. Here, let me magically transport you to my humble home. Ready? Oh, that's just great. You made it back? No thanks to you. Just a small spell mishap, nothing more. Now, why don't you use your wizardly powers to transport us back to far, far away? No problem. I just need four magical horseshoes, one for each of you. Do we look like horses? Ooh, I do, I do. No, no, no. Magical horseshoes are needed for my long-distance teleport spell. It's quite technical. I could explain. Please don't. Uh, all right, fine. I'll find them. Oh, my. You've been eating your spinach. You're back. Why are you back? You said to get horseshoes. I did? For what? To send us back home. I said I'd do that. Our heroes encountered Merlin, the greatest of wizards, and used their keen powers of persuasion to obtain his help in returning home. How about a lift? No, no, no. Please. Deeply moved, Merlin consented and carefully selected the precise magical spell for the task. Using all his legendary powers, Merlin whisked them on their way. Oops, wrong wand, sorry. Ah, now that's more like it. That old crackpot actually sent us back home. Woohoo, boy Shrek, I sure wouldn't have put my money on that. And I still wouldn't, my friend. Look. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Wizard. I'm so glad you dropped us off in an evil-infested forest. Aw, oh, man. I'm getting the heebie-jeebie, Shrek. You know how I don't like evil forests. I'm gonna hide. I do not like the looks of this castle, boss. It makes my whiskers twitch. Something about it feels evil. Why, thank you, Mr. In Boots. I spent years on the decor. Do you call me Mr. In Boots? I did. Madame, prepare for a world of trouble. Puss, are you trying to pick a fight with the evil lady? It is she who picks the fight with her sarcasm and disdain. Is the little kitty angry? So that's where those bad guys were coming from. I'm going to have to destroy that gate. Puss, where did the evil queen go? She took off on her broom. I tried to stop her, but alas. My legs were already tired from all that jumping. She's probably warning Charming we're on the way back. Help! That was Pinocchio. Pinocchio! Want a taste? 
<laughs> Pinocchio, are you all right? Jack, I'm gonna cry! Don't do that. Anything but that. But did you see all those evil wooden puppets? Don't worry about them. None of them are half the puppet you are. Now tell me what's going on in Far Far Away. Oh, it's terrible! Prince Charming's taking over! He signed up all the bad guys, even the evil queen! She's taken care of. Captain Hook? Not around anymore. Rapunzel? Really? She seems so nice. Not anymore! Charming captured Fiona and the princesses, took over the castle, now he's gonna put on a big stage show and prove to everyone in Far Far Away that he's the man! Well, we can't have that, can we? Trust me, someone owes me a favor. Hey, Merlin! Oh dear, it appears there was another spell mishap. No, no, Pinocchio and I wanted to be in this demented toy shop filled with crazy puppets. Whoops, well, you should hear where young Arthur ended up. It wasn't easy extracting him from the belly of a giant squid, you know. Merlin. Easily fixed. Just meet me over here, and, oh, and do be careful, it looks rather dangerous. And so the stage was set for the climax of this tale. As Charming prepared a grand show to commemorate his ultimate triumph. To be, or not to be, incredibly handsome. And so Shrek and his friends finally, and at last, returned to far, far away. Well, that was easy. Listen up! You've got ten seconds to release the princesses, or else we're going to knock down your walls! But we can't! Five seconds. But we can't! We really can't! Ugh, rent a guard. Cheap, but stupid. Donkey! Puss! Artie! Bring up the catapult! Why did you call me? See? Now wouldn't it have been easier to just give up the princesses? We can't. They escaped yesterday. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about the walls. Oh, it's all right. They're insured. Where did they go? Oh, don't ask me. I'm just a minimum wage renter guard. I bet they went back to town, Shrek. Let's go. My keen sense of smell can find them, I'm sure. You know, because I'm part bloodhound. You knew that, right? These catacombs are so peaceful. I know, right? Prison riots can be, like, so stressful. Free at last! Eureka! Hey, come back here! Might as well search for loot while we're down here. Now why would there be loot in the sewers? There's just rats down here. Everyone knows rats guard treasure. Gold, gems, bullion, doubloons. Ooh, kick one of those crates open, would ya? Monster! Run! Ugh, this is my kingdom? Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> it looked better before I left. Sounds like something's going on in the middle of town. You go that way, I'll go this way. Well, isn't he getting bossy? Ogre! Halt! You idiot! That's an actor, not an ogre! And he has to come with me now! The show's starting in five minutes! Looks like an ogre to me. And Charming said we isn't to let any ogres pass. It's an actor! Look! He's wearing a big rubber mask! Oh no. That's not a mask, is it? Uh, no. Ogre! Halt! Fiona! Shrek! I heard that they sent Captain Hook after you! Yeah, well, he's singing a different tune now. Where's Charming? He started a big stage show in the middle of town to tell everybody how great he is. 
Actually, it can't start without you, Shrek. Hey, Charming. I've been saving a special beating just for you. Careful, big boy. One move and your friends get it. Oh, no! What do you want from me, Charming? It's simple. You have a big part in my production. You see, your end is my beginning. Well, actually my ending. Of the play. Oh, never mind. Leave him alone! Guards! Chain this monstrosity up! <laughs> Listen to the crowd, Shrek. Do you hear what I hear? I hear thousands of people crying out for a hero, a new king! Oh, they'll get a new king, all right. You can't mean that boy, Arthur. <laughs> I know all about him. He's a coward. Last my men saw, he was skulking away into the woods. In any case, prepare yourself for our big scene, Shrek. It's showtime! This is so lame, Charming. I can guarantee not a single teenager will be caught dead watching this weak production. You're missing a huge demographic. What are you talking about? You know, for a long time, I told Shrek I didn't want to be king. Too much work, too much hassle, but now I know it's what I have to do. Bravo! Fantastic speech! Now get off the stage and stop interrupting my show. You get off the stage, Charming. I'm king now. Gods, get the boy and chain him up! Here's a royal decree. Shut it. Hey, hey, it's fine by me. You want to keep on being Sir Stinky all the time. I was thinking more about the rest of us, you know, kind of like a public service. Donkey, 